Hello and happy sketching. We are drawing with fifths rule. This is highlighting the line. As an object, we have here a tote bag, and this tote bag is actually a rectangular object. But when we look closer, these or these edges here are not 90 degrees. Uh, but we think they are, everything is a little bit distorted because of the perspective and we want to observe this here. So when we have this uh, piece of paper here, this has a, uh, a right angle here, so 90 degrees, but you can see this uh, edge is not 90 degree, this is a little bit less than 90 degree, this one as well. Oops. Uh, is a no this is almost 90 degree and the other one here is something less than 90 degrees uh, this means that when we observe the form we have to deal with the direction we do this with our helping tool, tool of uh, a dial we uh, start every line at an edge and we tell to ourselves uh, the direction. So this direction goes to 10 o'clock or almost 10.30. And here, um, similar thing, this line here goes to 1 o'clock or 1 o'clock 20 minutes. Here almost 10 o'clock, no, a little bit more than 10 o'clock. And the other edge starts here and goes to one o'clock and 20 minutes, something like this. Uh, it is always useful to look very close to the details as well, because they are important. They are going to build the overall impression. So we have a bulky main part of the toad here, but we have some really fine and thin um uh, stuff here we have wrinkles here we have a little bit of darkness here and we have uh typography here but again here the, those lines they are not even they are a little bit um formed in a line and this is what we want to uh, look at first before we want to sketch uh, such a toad back. Um, it's always uh, nice to draw with a real with a real object, but I have it here so that you can observe what I'm doing here. I start with the edge and I go with the direction, so it goes to this direction. 1 o'clock and 20 minutes, something like this. I can measure the line length if I want and I can uh, put it here. Then I have the other direction. This is something like 10 o'clock to this direction. I'm going to measure this length because actually I think in real life this length, and I put it here so you can see it better, this length is in real life the same size like uh, this length here, but you can see the other length is a little bit longer. So I put it here and I need a little bit, no, uh, just the direction and then a little bit more. So this is the length here. This was the other length here. And so it goes here. Okay, so I draw very thin the first lines so that I have the overall perspective of the object. And then I'm going to the details. I start with the details. So here is where those handles are fixed. We have another line here from thewing here and here it's soft and so on and so forth. Um, then I have the handles here, they go up, turn right and they overlap here and they are going here, they turn around here and they turn around here and again here, it comes back here. They start again from here, go around here I do all the details as much as I can do, but I do not follow all like a slave, but so that I can have a nice drawing 
here where the things are overlapping I just do the overlapping very precise so that everybody can understand which line goes beneath or over the other lines and then when I have the overall form I'm going to sketch the lines and I highlight the lines so remember we work with many lines here at the edges we can even overdraw the lines uh, or length them a little bit we have a little bit of darkness here maybe you can lay down your pencil to make a little bit of darkness here so the shade and then the shadow on the table or the background something like this here and then I draw the typography just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit and something like this okay and here another form here I have some lines that go to the line and everywhere where the form uh, turns I highlight the line here I have an overlapping so I do it more precisely here again there is a cross and here is a little bit of dark because of the sewing and here as well something like this and then the direction of type goes like this and it's not even so this is a happy problem because to draw evenly is not so easy I can overdraw actually those things so I make the A a little bit smaller and um, then I put the R here I work with several lines and then I highlight the lines a little bit um then the f oh this is too close and i this is very long for an f here and an a again and everything is a little bit shaky here because it's on a woven textile okay and i work with this like this okay and yeah maybe i can give a little bit of shades in here in the object where we have wrinkles or even here or even a little bit of shadow that is under the object so that we can see this um if we have two big holes where there is no line at all or no shadow at all our eye will be trapped in that's why it's always good to uh, put a little bit there and a little bit there of darkness and yeah this is it try the same and uh, happy sketching <laughs>